Are you as smart as the world's most advanced AI system? Of course you are, right? Have some confidence. So OpenAI, makers of ChatGPT, last week announced O1 Preview, which is supposed to be the most advanced reasoning system available for artificial intelligence. It's supposed to be able to answer all kinds of questions that ChatGPT 4, 4 Claude, whatever, couldn't answer before. And to illustrate the prowess of this particular AI system, they used this admittedly pretty difficult, I don't know what you want to call it, word problem, riddle, math problem, whatever. And so we're gonna figure this out right now. A princess is as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess's age was half the sum of their present age. What is the age of the prince and princess and provide all solutions to that question. So first of all, this is intimidating right off the bat. Are there going to be multiple solutions here? Why are there going to be multiple solutions here? We don't know, not particularly clear. The first thing I'm gonna to try to do to come up with a solution here is the tried and true strategy of guessing. We are going to guess and check and see whether or not we get lucky on the first try. But even the guessing is weird because what is it that I'm supposed to be guessing? I've got a princess's age and then I've got several different clues about that age depending on the time frame between the princess and the prince. And so even to choose to guess, I need to select a mathematical tool that's going to help me organize my guesses. And I'm going to use a table. I'm going to keep track of both the prince's age and the princess's age using this table. And the first time through, I'm just trying to get a sense of what's happening in the problem because there is so much that's confusing. So I'm just gonna take a shot in the dark. I have no reason to think that the prince is 16 and the princess is 22. I'm just gonna use those numbers and see what happens. Now, what it says is the princess is as old, so that is 22, as the prince will be. And so I'm gonna pause there. This is some future age for the prince. At some point in time, the prince will be this same 22. And here's where I get my first insight into this problem. Obviously, like everyone in the world, the prince and princess age at the same rate. So if right now the prince and princess are six years apart, then when the prince is 22, they'll still be six years apart. The princess at that point must be 28. But when she's 28, she's supposed to be twice as old as the prince's age at some other point in time. So I'm gonna come all the way back up here because 28 is twice as old as 14. So now we're backwards in time. We're back when the prince was 14 years old. Still though, the prince and princess are six years apart, so at that point in time, the princess must have been 20 years old. And then I get to our final clue. The prince was this old when the princess's age was half the sum of their present ages. Remember, those were the numbers we started with, 16 and 22. 16 plus 22 is 38, half of 38 is 19, and 20 is pretty close to 19, but of course not exactly 19. So on the one hand, well done us, our guess got us pretty close to the right answer, but it didn't work perfectly. We don't have the exact correct ages just yet. So let's table that for now and see if we can come up with a guess that gets us even closer or perhaps that gets us one possible solution. Because we were so close the first time, we wanna choose a guess that is as much like our previous guess as possible, or if you prefer, only a little bit different from that previous guess. Now, obviously both of their ages have to change, so I can't leave any of that the same. What I can leave the same though is the difference between their ages. I'm going to keep them six years apart. But let's make the prince a little older and see what happens. If the prince is 18 and they're still six years apart, then the princess will be 24. And now, once again, I'm gonna go back through the question. The princess is as old, so she's 24 right now, as the prince will be, so he's 24 at some future time, and remember, they're always six years apart, so she's 30 at that time. When the princess is twice as old as the prince was, so again, 30 is twice as old as 15, and sometime in the past, the prince was 15. Again, six years apart always, so the princess at this time is 21, and what was the clue in the question? The princess's age was supposed to be half the sum of their present ages. Well, 18 plus 24 is 42, and half of 42 is indeed 21. Yes, we've done it. We now have one possible solution here. It is possible to obey everything they described about the prince and princess's age if the prince starts at 18 today and the princess is 24 today. So now the question becomes, why is it that 18 and 24 worked where 16 and 22 didn't? 
First of all, because we didn't change the difference between their ages, we know that this solution in general can't depend only on the difference between their ages. There must be some feature that's putting together that difference in their ages with the actual ages we select. So let's talk about a different mathematical tool now. Let's use some algebra to see if we can figure out what this solution is in general. Not just get lucky with a particular guess, but be able to describe all such possible solutions. To do this, I'm going to select some variables. I'm going to let the prince's age be x. And although we could go with a different variable for the princess's age, remember, we know that the princess is always some number of years older than the prince. So instead of picking a different variable, I'm just going to describe the princess's age as x plus d, x plus whatever the difference is in their ages. Now, what did we do next back in the problem? We said the princess is as old as the prince will be. So we took whatever the princess's age was, and we said, okay, that's how old the prince is at some point in the future. That will still be true here in symbols, it's just that we're going to call the prince x plus d instead of 24 or whatever that is. And remember, they're always d years apart. So when the prince is x plus d at some point in the future, the princess will still be another d years older than that, x plus d plus d, which of course we could also write as x plus 2d. And then what did we do? We said, oh, this age, this has to be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was, so x plus 2d equals twice something else. For example, over here, we took the fact that she would be 30 at some point in the future, and we divided that by 2 to figure out that the prince was half that age somewhere in the past. We can also divide algebraic expressions by 2. So at some point in the past, the prince was x over 2, that's half of the x, plus d, that's half of the 2d. But every time we know the prince's age, we also know the princess's age because we just have to add another d number of years, whatever that difference is between them. So the princess's age at that time must have been x over 2 plus 2d now. And then this is the final bit we need. Remember, this was happening when the princess's age, which we can now see is x over 2 plus 2d, was equal to half the sum of their original ages, or their present ages. So we're going to write that down as an equation and then see what happens. The princess's age, x over 2 plus 2d, was supposed to be half the sum of their present ages. Half of x plus x plus d. That is the prince's present age plus the princess's present age. Now, this is a linear equation, and it's a linear equation in two variables. So this gives us some insight into why the question requested all possible solutions. A linear equation in two variables won't generally have just a single solution. Instead, it's a statement about a relationship between those two variables. In this case, as we do things like add together the x and the x inside those parentheses there, and then distribute that one half, we get that x over two plus two d needs to be equal to x, that is half of 2x, plus d over 2. And if we do things like subtract x over 2 from both sides to get rid of x on the left-hand side of this equation, and subtract d over 2 in order to eliminate the d's from the right-hand side of the equation, what we end up with is that 3 halves d has to be equal to x over 2. Or if you prefer, x over 2, of course, is the same thing as 1 half x. If we multiply both sides of this equation by 2 to get rid of the fractional parts, we can see what was going on earlier. Why, when they were 6 years apart, the prince being 16 didn't let it work, but the prince being 18 did let it work. Every time the prince's age, x, is 3 times the difference between their ages, 3d, we should have a possible solution. For example, now that we have this information, that the prince's age needs to be 3 times the difference in their ages, we don't have to blindly guess anymore, we can reliably select any pairs of ages that will work. If we want the difference in their ages to be 10 years instead, 3 times 10 is 30, so we know to make this work, we're going to have to let the prince be 30 years old. The princess will be 10 years older than that, because that's what we chose for the difference in their ages, and so she's going to be 40. As you walk through the rest of the problem, recall at some point in the future, the prince is that age, the princess is 50 at that point, 
That's twice as much as the prince must have been sometime in the past. 50 is twice as much as 25. And at that time, of course, the princess would have been 35, which just so happens to be half the sum of their present ages. In fact, you can probably tell we don't only know the prince's age, we also always know the princess's age. If the prince is 3D and the princess is D years older than that, then the princess's age will always be described by 4D. In fact, as we chart out different possible solutions, what we find we're describing is yet another linear equation. The princess's age, which I've called Y here, I forgot to do that earlier, is always going to be four thirds as much as the prince's age. Whatever age the prince is, we can now choose that independent of the princess's age and we can multiply it by four thirds to get back the princess's age. So there you have it. We are in fact smarter than ChatGPT 01 preview, whatever they're calling it, because even though this problem was published like as part of the announcement for wow, look at what 01 preview can do, when I typed it into 01 preview, it actually got it wrong. You can click on the link in the description to see my conversation with ChatGPT. It did eventually get it right, but it required a little prompting or reminding to realize, oh, this is how I should actually be approaching the problem. Either way, there you have it. Human beings still slightly ahead of the machines. I'll see y'all next time.